We got all the parts for the Mumbai Rider. And I'm gonna see if I can uh, put it together now. First, I'm gonna knock out these lenses in this glasses. As cool as they are, we don't need them. Okay, that was easy enough. Now we have this piece of uh, iron wire here. It'll be the part of the the, the eye rider that actually holds the camera. One end will be attached to the glasses. The other end will kind of uh, swing around in front of the eye. And then we'll attach the, uh, the camera to that part of it. Okay, how should I attach this? These glasses have a nice little feature in that they have a hole right here that'll allow me to thread a piece of uh, a chigo tie through it. I asked the guy at the hardware store, do you have um, wire ties or zip ties? And he's like, you mean jigo ties? And I was like, sure, jigo ties. about five of them, five of them, um, all using the parts from the, the LAI rider, so the PS3 cam is the, the main real difference between that version and, and this one. We have a few different versions. We've made some have slightly more sophisticated attachment mechanisms, but wire ties are sufficient. So I mean, here we go. It's attached <clears throat> pretty firmly. These glasses are really ideal because of this feature right there. So tool-wise, you don't need much. If you use copper or aluminum wire, you don't even need anything to cut it because you can just bend it until it cuts. So. Try to bend this where it my problem is this is gonna wanna twist in this direction. I bet with a little tape we can keep it in place. Now to figure out how to attach this part. <clears throat> Normally, we need to use IR LEDs to um, illuminate the eye, but because this, this camera actually has IR LEDs built into it, we might not have to use that at all. But I'll need a PC laptop to test that to see if it's gonna actually work. Been using a Sony PS3 eye cam which is a, a nice little technology because um, like a webcam, it doesn't need any kind of capture card. You can just plug it, plug it directly into your USB port. Um, and it also has drivers that have been sort of hacked for both the Mac and PC that allows it to uh, act as just a typical webcam. But this guy is just a PC model and um, I wasn't able to find any Mac drivers for it. so. Hopefully it'll just, it'll work on the PC and that's actually better really for Mumbai because um, Mac is pretty non-existent here. Okay, so you gotta take this guy apart because I need to put a IR filter over the CCD. And um, normally we use uh, this stuff called IR Rattan, which filters out visible light and just allows near IR light to pass through. Here that's a bit expensive and also not commonly available. So 
we've done a little bit of a workaround, which is just to use normal 400 speed photo film and then uh, process it without actually exposing it or taking any photos. And incidentally, the, the guy at the store knew exactly what I wanted because Indians, um, you know, they, they know how to work around things and also they uh, enjoy lunar eclipses. And there's actually supposed to be a lunar eclipse, a solar eclipse, one or the other tonight. Um, and so he assumed that I wanted this so that I could do some eclipse looking, um, which is not safe to do with this stuff, but <clears throat> that's the reason why it's around. Well, the, um, the film is necessary because we're gonna use IR LEDs to illuminate the pupil. And uh, it's a certain uh, quality of the, the pupil itself that when exposed to IR light, um, it becomes quite dark. Mm -hmm. And the um, retina and the rest of the eye become quite light. So if you illuminate it enough, the pupil becomes this black circle on a field of white, which makes it extremely easy to track. The, the body of the camera is a bit inconvenient for our purposes. It's just a little bit of a security for these parts, but I don't think I really need it. The back of the camera has, I mean, the, the circuit board of the camera, if I don't put the back of the shell on, has a number of electronics, which if it touches this copper wire, um, could cause some short circuits or uh, other strain uh, problem. So I just want to make sure that we've got it completely electrically isolated. Seems pretty solid there. Just wire tie it, but it's not going to be very adjustable in this dimension. It's not too bad. This needs to kind of be down more, pointed up at his eye. Not so much that the eye starts to get squished because of the angle, mm -hmm. but just enough that. Um, <clears throat> it's not like obscuring his vision of the wall.